everyone, and welcome back to Trash Gamers. I'm Howl. And I'm Izzy. And we are back with Talk Princess. You've uh, had some sleep since the last uh, Talk Princess episode. Mm. Yeah, so that's and, good. and I am in no way more energetic than I was last time. So oh, let's yes. do this. You're more aware anyway. We hope. Yeah, as long as you can hold B this time. I am holding B. And uh, I think you made clarification off camera late last night that you weren't referencing, you weren't trying to compare it to Star Wars, that creepy scene. Okay, you are making me easy, actually. Uh, you are trying to compare it to Evil Dead, I think. Yes, Evil Dead. Um, I was half asleep when I said that shit last night. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I was wanting to compare it to Evil Dead. Alright, yeah, cross those bridges. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're starting the next chapter of the walkthrough. Uh, which is all about side quests. Um, but the first things we're doing are more or less required uh, to get to the next dungeon. Uh, go to the house to your right, I think. Yeah, we want to go over there. Um, so we're going to do a, little, a few required things to get ready for the dungeon. And then we'll be doing some hunting for some heart pieces and a hidden sword skill, just stuff like that. Hey, you. Yeah, the Zoras look so weird in this game. Well, you know, it's not their head, that's like a helmet or something. Oh. But still. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Bring back Breath of the Wild. Right. I'm gonna talk to him. Oh! Hello! Hey, I'm wearing a shirt like that. <laughs> um, some of the Zoras are still alive down under there. I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Just like my fingers when they prune up. Hey, buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of this lake. They put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple of hoo ha that I just disappear. And what's worth putting that temple so deep that humans can't swim there? I swear, those Zoras. Oh, are you a customer? <laughs> you are one lucky fella, fellow. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching to the heavens, the very peak of flying fantastication. It can be yours, fella. No minutes of time only, and without waiting in line, it's a pretty a paltry ten rupees. What do you say, buddy of mine? Want to give it a shot? Uh, let me make sure here. Um, yes. Welcome, fella. What do you say? They said right this way. Oh, you just go through, I guess. Because I think we're trying to get to the next area. Or get back up to the bridge, I think. And you can't warp with Minda because you're not warp anymore. Yeah. So I think right now we're trying to get back to Castle Town, I think. This bitch just shot me <laughs> out of the cannon! Yep. <laughs> How am I going to land so perfectly? Right. Look at me. I am Link. The perfect bottom for your entertainment. Oh, no. Alright, oh, I go in here. Oh, no. Did you press the... <laughs> no, I didn't, actually. Oh. Whoa, that reminds me of something. Didn't the Light Queen in Zora's Domain ask you to do something? She asked us to find her son, the one who's been missing since he entered Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescue them. It's the final piece of few shadows on the bottom of Lake Hylia. It looks like we're going to need that ability. Yep. So, yeah, we need to go to Castle Town. Ugh. Alright. Back and forth. Yay. And concussions. How do you, how do you well, get down? There is a ladder. Oh, you can't just jump over this? Uh, you could try tricking Oh, look, it. there's the ladder. Yep. Jeez. Oh, come on. Contrary to popular belief, you can't roll into literally everything. Hello. Mine! Oh, no. Ah! Jeez. I am Link, terrorizer of chickens! <laughs> Bye! Please leave. I saw someone over here. Oh, uh, that's just a mini game. You don't have to worry about that right now. Yay. With that fashion, though. Press up on the C-stick. 
You look like you won about an hour at, like, a, um, Motel 6. <laughs> That's about what I'm dressed as right now. I'm wearing a, uh, just sleeves at the moment. Uh, I think my body is cut out of this. And some very, very short shorts. Well, I have all day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we're not in Motel 6, decidedly. No, we're not. Alright, so when you can, try to find some horse grass. Some horse ass? Horse grass. I see some up here on the path. See it? Yes. That'll call your horse back over to you. I need my paid ass! Oh no. Oh. You gotta blow. <laughs> Leak is a natural bottom, I figured he just knew how to blow. Oh no. Get on the horse. And right. ride. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Now ride. Right. Hug your right wall. Not that close. You said I... hug it, I did what I was told. Jeez. That's a first. <laughs> I don't always do as I'm told. But when you do, it's to extremes. <laughs> yes. You married me. Alright, we're trying to head to Castle Town. I think if you just go straight from there, you'll get there. Yeah. Bitch! Yeah, you have to get off the horse here. And get off the horse here. How do I like this bell? But moving. There you go, now press A. <laughs> Alright, now who just shot my horse? Hey, you! Bye! <laughs> Social distance. Social distance, my ass! But how can we remain if we're social distancing from? There you go. You're doing great. Hey. Mr. Cockwaffle! Way! No, not him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Cockwaffle. I have come to deliver a letter. Will you pay me in dick? Here's a letter for you, Cockwaffle. Two letters, in fact. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! I wonder if mail is like his key. Maybe. Like he's just off in the woods well, jacking he, off the letters. He had a really huge story in Majora's Mask. Um... Like he considered himself the official uh, letter letter deliverer or something like for the mayor herself or the mayor's uh, wife I think and like he refused to leave town until the postmistress relieved him of his duties. Mm. Like he refused to because it was his life duty. The Linnea Tourist Association has prepared a grand tour of natural splendor, uh, playground for grown ups, yada yada yada. yada. Cool. All right. Good stuff inside. Finally, we finished production on a new type of bomb. These ones can be used in the water. We have them in stock now. Come by and pick yours up. Thank you. Right. I really wanted to subscribe to your newsletter about bombs. Right. Yeah, this game is a little bit handholdy of points, but it's nowhere near as bad as uh, Skyward Sword is. Yeah. Alright, so you need to be heading to... Oh, look, it's, um... What's that bitch's name from Lord of the Rings? Gandalf! Oh, jeez. You must be Gandalf the Green. Oh, no. That's bad. Alright, you're trying to Why get to... Why is that bad? Look. If you would, for the sake of peace, would you please... Don't make a donation right now. I think you can for a heart piece later on, like if you give him enough money or something, but we're probably not going to be doing uh, that quest. Quit begging for money, Gandalf bitch. All right, you need to head to South Castle Town, which you're, you're, that's a good way to go, so you're doing fine so far. All right, so now I head south, further south, there you go. And I guess, for me, I'm always looking at different things, like, when I play, or when I play a Zelda game, I'm always looking at the map, so, like, I always know where to go, because I'm always just looking at that map. All right, turn right here. I rarely look at the map. Alright, is this where Thomas Bar is? 
and try to go in. Yep, it is. Awesome. Into the door. Not the wall. I know it's counterintuitive. Um, but you're actually not trying to compress yourself. They need to make a hard mode of Zelda where if you roll into things, you take damage. No. That's <laughs> ridiculous. That is a Zora child. This is beyond my expertise. Hemph. I don't know who's speaking yet. Hey. Ah! <laughs> hey. Jeez. I did not realize you had Stop Scrooge McDuck. Stop your wait. If something isn't done, this child will. My top. Never mind. Fuck you. But this was this isn't the union I was hoping for. I wanted to. Well, find... this isn't good. A human doctor won't do, huh? Again, I'm not really sure who's speaking because it's all to our backs, so for sure. That old coot reminded me, though. I've heard of a shaman in Kakariko Village, in the Elden Lands, who tended Gorons and Zoras. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there. Inadvisable, too dangerous. Well, we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need either. Is where men. Isn't she like 12? Right. Are you guys like. What's going on? I, I question y'all. Yes, we better escort you. Am I right, boys? With our dicks. Dicks! <laughs> Jeez, what idiots. Well, isn't that nice? They're offering to breed you. To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two planes that are each infested by dangerous beasts. Well, we'll be safe now. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Cowards, don't ever show your faces here again. Oh my. What do we have here? A cosplayer? <laughs> Looks like we've got one young swordsman left. And not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto. Does she not even recognize who you are or anything? Yeah, that's how she's acted, actually. You know that girl, don't you? It's a real shame she can't remember her own name right now. Oh, snap. That makes sense. Yep. Bless her heart. Oh, no. <laughs> She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than in all the soldiers of Hyrule, for sure. Look at my boobies. Mm -mm, aren't they something? You lend your strength to her, you hear? I'm a pussy. So he's back. Again. So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is to cross the bridge to the west. Looks like you've broken one of his horns, though. You see what that means. You'll have to deal with that thing. Alright, so this might annoy you. It's a protect the wagon. I'll go ahead and spoil the, what you're supposed to do here in a little bit. Um, you're trying to help uh, protect the wagon. And uh, if the wagon ever catches on fire which it will, you have to use your boomerang on the wagon to put out the flames. Okay. Yeah. So kill everything, put out the fire. Yep. I think I remember Game Grumps doing this. Oh, yeah? I think so. I think Aaron was pissed. Probably.
So for now, just keep yeah. keep at the wagon and protect it. Uh, what is that? Yeah, click your boomerang. Yeah, that's. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, I don't really have the arrows, so. Right. Oh, and it has your your whole route marked out on the map too. You're you're going the whole overworld here, pretty much. I wonder if it does checkpoints, like if um, like if you mess up and you start the whole thing over again. I guess we'll see though. Yeah, we will find out. Cause y'all know I'm about to fuck this up. <laughs> we will see. You're doing good so far. There haven't been any enemy. Alright. Oh, here we go. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Is it King Baldwin? That is, yeah. He just has shields this time. Okay, it's your turn, honey. We're counting on you. Shut up. Let's deal with this asshole. <laughs> right. Alright, so what am I doing? Uh, it says you have to ride forward and equip your bow, shoot an arrow at King Baldwin, and then be sure to avoid him as he runs by. Turn around and shoot a second arrow King Baldwin, defeating him if I can get So I'm running and shooting? Yeah. Ah. Wow. Good job. I'm teasing. That said, you don't really have any arrows. So I wonder if you were expected to get some before you probably move. Fuck! Ah. Yeah. I think you can dash to move a little faster too. Nice. Hopefully it doesn't take too many more arrows. Right. Turn around. Well I think it restarts every time. Yeah. There we go. He's trying to dodge you this time. Yep. Fuck! Yep. <laughs> we are off to a wonderful start. If the game over screen wasn't so fucking long... I don't think retrying is a good idea. I think I would just click no. Because you can't win now. You only have one arrow. We'll figure it out. I mean, you I don't think you can figure it out, as I'm saying, though. I think you just need to let yourself get killed here. Because you can't get back to before this until you get a game over. I don't have any arrows? No, that's what the zero means. <laughs> There's no what way sucks either. about this is that I know I've picked up more arrows, but it doesn't recognize that I've picked up more arrows. It just kind of deletes them as I pick them up. I don't think that's accurate at all. <laughs> well, I mean, I know I picked up a fuck ton of arrows, but I haven't used that many. I mean... I don't think you've picked up any since you... Um... Beat... Um... Since you beat the fire boss. Darvis. Maybe. Or Firus, whatever his name was. Um, well, I mean, you can't pick any fucking arrows up because you're the fucking dog at that point. Yeah, when you're a dog, it doesn't give you arrow refills because it wouldn't make sense to. It's like, you can't use them. Um, so where's it going to restart you at? I don't fucking know. Well, that's frustrating. I, you would think that if you don't click retry, it would just bring you back to the last point where you had freedom of well, Play. I mean, this is GameCube. It's not going to have... Uh... Jeez, well, that fucking sucks. Now you got to go yeah. back, so... pay the dude for everything. Yeah. The thing is, like, GameCube doesn't have checkpoints. There's no automatic save, so it makes sense. It sucks, but it makes sense. I mean, I don't know if that's true, because when you die, you came back at eight points. It does do checkpoints. Um... Well, obviously it didn't do it here. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I guess what I'm saying is I wish that it could just warp you to outside the bridge before you get on it, because that's a little bit obnoxious. Um, well, we have to go find arrows now. We can't do anything until we get Yeah, down. but I think you can get arrows back uh, right before the bridge, I think. I think. That said, I wish I would have automatically refilled your arrows for that fight, too. That was kind of annoying. Well, you know. Because, as, as you're saying, you're right, you don't get arrows as wolfly. So, like, it's not giving you much in the way of ways to get arrows between here and the actual point where you need them. Yeah, I mean... And I wonder if, like, the HD remake does this a bit differently. It might. Oh, this guy. Oh, those little Ukus. He's, you see the fur things? That's Uku Uku. Yeah. No. And boom. <laughs> and that cannon just looks very not safe. I mean, it has the safest knot. Oh, yeah, yeah you gotta yeah, deal yeah. with this again. Yeah. Yep, there's our concussions. I'll just give him what he deserves after that <laughs> last one. Yep. I hear you. Jeez. It's also weird that it just starts me at three hearts. I know I had more hearts when I was Wolf Lake. Why is it reduced that anyway? Um. I think, um. I don't know. It could just be complete circumstance, honestly. But. Okay, so cut some of this grass over here to your left. That was useful. It has a heart. So that's something, right? And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Over there. Call the horse. What's this? That's a sign. I wish they had a store that just sold them. Uh, they probably do in a few areas of the game. Um, I'm not sure where the nearest one would be. That's not helpful as that is to you. Oh, uh, you could probably go kill those guys. They might drop arrows. I hear a bird that's trying to get you, but it's not going to be close enough to be a threat really yet. Yeah. You're the worst guard enemy ever. I thought this bitch just walked away from me. Right. Well, that was useless. They're being really stingy. Nice. Arrows. Rupees. Really? We're gonna get a cutscene for that? Thanks. Okay. I think you sound more annoyed than I do, sir. Well, it's like, it's just five rupees. We don't need a whole ordeal for that. Oh, and you know, there's, there's, there's bound to be a store in Castletown, too. Because you're really not getting shit here. Hey, arrows! Yeah, okay, you're good. You don't need any more. No, I need more. Not for this amount of money. There's no point wasting money to score for. I think it only takes two arrows to kill the dude. I hit him with two arrows. No, you didn't. You kept falling every time. Well, if it was resetting, why didn't it reset my arrows? That's a good question. Uh, you can't just... No, that's not... That's not how that works. I mean, it's how it did work. <laughs> I'm sure Nintendo will take your complaints very seriously. And will promptly, like, refund us for this old, ancient game. I mean, I didn't buy it. I don't remember if... 
don't know if this is the copy I got when I was uh, a kid or not. What's this over here? Nothing you can mess with yet. It's an item based thing you don't have the item for yet. Alright, it's time to call your horse and let's get the show on the road. I was hoping for one more heart. Horse crash to you. There you go. I mean, you, yeah, you, I guess you're one heart short of the full amount, huh? Yeah. There we go. Turn around. I will give the horse a concussion. Jeez. I do love how fast the source moves compared to some of the other games. I want to say it might even move faster than Breath of the Wild Wars, but don't quote me on that. I mean, I can see it. Yeah. I mean, hell, this horse moves faster than most of the mounts on Biodude. Oh, yeah. Hey -ya. Hey -ya. Alright, there's the bridge to Castle Down you need to get on. Nope, he'll drop arrows, I think. I think archers drop arrows. Nope, not that oh. one. He oh, well. drops rupees. I guess that would have made too much sense. You get a full quiver of arrows there, and you're like, you want that? No, I want the rupees. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck out of right. my way. Yep. Cool story. That said, I guess it would behoove us to uh, save the game before we get on the bridge, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, that, that would make sense. Just in case. Fuck you, Gandalf the Green. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. And this episode might go into some extra time because of. Well, because of our fuck up! Aww. It's not that bad. Blah, blah, blah. This episode is going to be titled Is He Second Mistake? No. We're way past the second one. <laughs> <laughs> to the right. Go, go back to the. Oh, go back. Back to the right. And here's the wall you liked. Yep, there's the sign. And there's the wall. And there's another wall. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell if you're doing it on purpose either. Sometimes I do. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. I, mean, I, I would say... I would say 80% are on purpose. Okay. I just like the noise it makes when he smacks his head. Yeah. Smack! Right. Well, I will say that um, once we get um, King Bulblin down this time, uh, then you actually have to do the protecting the wagon thing. Um, so that should be fun, right? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to make this a longer episode? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um I mean, you're the one mm -hmm. editing, so it's really up to you. Oh, uh, that doesn't matter to me. Yeah, we actually switched hands so that Izzy edits the videos now, which is why we have a slightly different video naming. Probably now it actually shows the letters EP before the episode number. Um, and probably has way better tagging, because Izzy is the, or, yeah, Izzy is the one, or Weasel, which I, what do you go by in this show again? Izzy. Yeah. Well, you're Trash Weasel, but Izzy. Oh, yeah, you can't have Trash Izzy. <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess you could. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Izzy is the one doing the editing now because it was just too much for me and I couldn't handle it mentally. Um, like mental, it just gave me too much mental stress and stuff. 
And wow. since I wake up really early in the morning, it's like yeah. I can I can do things on my laptop and just set the laptop aside and go to my computer. Yeah. So I was like, usually doing it before I went to bed, but it was still like – but I think because I was doing it that way, it felt different. It felt more like a – I never got to actually relax. Like even yeah. when I'm getting ready for bed, I'm like, well, I can't get ready for bed until I do this work thing. Yeah. And for me, it's like, okay, I'm awake. I'm just starting work now. You know? Yeah, I get you. Uh, but in terms of tagging, it's like I'm really trying to learn the YouTube tagging system. Yeah. I don't know that it's helped that much, but... Right. There are way more tags. Right. And there are descriptions. Right. And I try to make the titles as searchable as possible. Sure. Well, I think you're doing a lot better job with it than I was, so there's that. Which is not, I mean, I am totally cool with, because it's one of those things we have to worry about. Um, and you've, you've done well with the uh, video naming, too, which I like. Yes. Also, I was thinking about something. Uh, one of my favorite uh, video game YouTubers is uh, Attacking Toucans, because he's a gay YouTuber uh, like us. Um... And uh, he does a lot of cool games. I love his uh, Zelda randomizer series. He just started a uh, Majora's Mask randomizer, which I'm oh, super excited about. There we go. Where, where's S? Start button. There you go. Um, and he does this thing where he does a comment question of the day in every in every video. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could do something like that. Do we have any comment questions? Uh, rephrase. Uh, what it means is like. They pose a question in their videos saying, comment your answer to this question. Oh, yeah, most YouTubers do that. Do they? Not every episode, but they do comment questions all the time. Do they? I've never heard Game Grumps or Markiplier or Jack ever do that. You and I watch different YouTube, though. Because, <laughs> like, I watch a lot of news programs and watch a lot of social commentary type. Sure. Uh... Videos. They're always like, you know, hey, you want to press, you gonna press start and save it? I just did. Oh, I was thinking, I guess. Oh, yeah. But okay, yeah, that makes sense. It doesn't seem like it's that popular for gaming channels, I guess. Well, I mean, everyone does it differently. Yeah. So, what would the common question of the day be for this episode? I don't know. What's an example of an attack, uh, uh, attacking two cans? Question. Oh, he does everything from game-related stuff to IRL stuff. Um, okay, well here, here's here's one then. How are you guys celebrating Pride? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's Pride Month. Yes. Yeah. How how are you celebrating Pride? Yeah. Or is it is anyone gonna actually go out to Pride? Or are we, you know, obviously if you're going out, fully vaccinated, but right. arrows, arrows, there's your move. Fuck. All right, it's going to be a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know on my end, uh, I don't think we're doing any Pride Festivals here. I know you put up a Pride discount on your bookstore, Weasel Press. Um, I'll be late. Fuck! Yeah. It's like, what would... You really need to do the arrow a lot earlier, especially the first one, because it doesn't move on this first arrow. Um, can you hit him again? Oh, uh, that, you lucked out on that one. Yeah, I did. Um, it seems like you need to focus on the arrow early. That way you can focus on dodging and have plenty of time. But I think this next one, you should have to hit him. Uh, but he's ducking and swerving a lot more this time, so... Nope. There you go. Okay. Nicely done. Hells yeah. That ass, though. Uh, and I know um, you... I got myself some more femme clothing for Pride, because... Oh, I deserved it, question mark. We got the gate keys, yay. So now you get to actually try protecting the wagon. Uh, I'm going to say let's keep the episode going. Uh, it'll be a little bit longer, but I think we can knock out this damn uh, section uh, pretty fast still. Let's do it. Just remember to keep up with the wagon. Don't get too far ahead or else that the rest. And equip the uh, boomerang too. 
There you go. Wait, wait. Oh, you're gonna save? Yeah. Probably a good idea. Yeah, because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Alright, now you get to deal with archers and stuff. You don't have to worry about the archers that much. Just watch the wagon if it catches on fire. Um, you can lock onto it too. That was not the lock on button. Yeah, I know. I got really disoriented. Yeah. Right. And the fire is slowly working its way to the burning cap. I'm trying. I can't. <laughs> that was uh, the lock on button probably. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm teasing you. It takes a minute. There. Part of it. It's falling fire. Can you press out? There. there. Alright, dismount. Dismount. There you go. Um, uh, you need to unlock the gate for them. Nice. i get back on the horse. Let's keep it going. But as usual, keep your eye on the wagon. That's fine. Yeah, there you go. Just because they're going to try to light on fire still. Nice. It's probably a good thing they're focused on you and not the wagon. I say you should run your hearts. Oh, sure. Oh, that bitch is actually going to drop fire off the wagon. I cannot. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. I can't do that. I... Fuck you. Well, you got this. No, I don't. I fucking don't. <laughs> uh oh. I don't even know where they went. Oh, yeah. there. <laughs> I can't control this. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is just locking on, I think. Well, no, the biggest thing is not locking on. The biggest thing is finding a way to look at the fucking thing while I'm moving at the same fucking time. I guess. <laughs> well... Yeah, I lost. Well, yeah, of course I lost. That was expected. Oh shit. We get a whole new cutscene about it. Damn, that's brutal. I hope when you click retry it lets you uh, pick back up from after the bridge. We'll find out. Let's see. That's good. Awesome. Where am I at? Okay. That said, you only have three hearts though. That's kind of frustrating. That's every. That's every, whenever you get a game move where it starts you off with three hearts. All right. Try number two. Then. Hey, you got arrows. And a heart, too. Hey, you're waiting. No, this is gonna be tough. I know it's gonna be tough. Alright, don't press that button, press L. Press L. There you go. That actually locks onto the wall. Open that gate, honey! <laughs> well, yeah, let me get... Well, you're too close to so the egg defaults to speak. There you go. Alright, but you're doing well. You have plenty of hearts. The cart's fine. You scared the horse. Yeah. All the way. There we go. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, she waited for you, that's good. Nice aim, shit. And now all of China knows you're here. <laughs> Looks like we gotta back it up first. Well... Oh shit. Yeah, put locking on- <laughs> Hey, that's doing something. Awesome. It's a strategy that works. <laughs> nice! Now it kind of looks like they're going in circles. So I think it's actually expecting you to kill these guys. Probably with the sword. Be the easiest way. Well, I'm getting there. I was just saying, because I, uh, I was letting you know, because only the boomerang actually kills them. I think that just stuns them for a second. Well, between trying to keep up and trying to get this guy off of the whole fucking thing, it's not really yeah, a priority you. at the moment. Yeah, I get you. Hey, you made it through that section. What? Oh, there's more behind you now. I was like, you almost made it to the next section. Yeah. On. I fucking hate this horse. Let's see. Let's see. Apparently, there are cargo rocks, those flying things that drop bombs right at the exit. And yeah. it, it says, like, you almost have to hit one of those to stop it from dropping the bomb that way. Uh, or, like, kill them ahead of time that way. Uh, the horse doesn't get scared and circle back. Jeez, these guys are so annoying. I wish they wouldn't respawn, too. It's like, that's not helping matters. I just wish this horse would fucking move right. <laughs> oh, you got this. No, I don't. Why did that not- oh, I guess it did a little bit. Jeez. Okay, fine, I guess I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whatever, just fucking die already. Jesus. Yeah. No. Do you want to stop the episode here and take a break? No, we'll keep going. <laughs> Okay. Do you want me to try? No. <laughs> okay. No. Yay, horseback stuff in this game. Alright. So what does the guide say? I'm not sure that it helps too much, but it says this area has Bolden archers riding along on boulders, as well as cargo rocks flying around. In particular, some of the cargo rocks will drop bombs on the trail, causing the wagon to get off course. When this happens, the wagon will have to circle back around much of South Island Field. Uh, when you're near a fork in the road and you see cargo rock waiting to drop a bomb, keep the enemy with your boomerang or with your bow, preventing him from dropping the bomb. Uh, you'll need to be pretty close to the wagon in order to be in range in time to target the landing attack. Successfully doing so will allow the carriage to continue onward to the Capri for the orange. So that's frustrating. As frustrating as can be. We will see how we do. 
And it looks like the same happens in the next area, too. Yeah. Now, I do wonder if the flying things respawn like the other things do. That's the thing I'm not sure about. Haha, uh -huh. you got thrown off your ball, though. Oh, but Athena's just launched herself over that one. Yeah, so that was the bird that just diverted your force. But the guy doesn't really say if they respawn or not, so I'm not sure if they even can be killed permanently. Whoops. It's very frustrating. And here come your friends again. You found the wall! There's the verb again. It sucks that it's such a workout just to catch up. Yeah. Like half the time you're just catching the fuck up. Yeah. It definitely is. Haha, uh -huh, you fell anyway. <laughs> nice, you got Cool. Yeah. I will say, not that this, might, not that this will necessarily make you feel any better. But, like, the absolute worst way to do the horse section is to ever press the arrow button before you are locked on to something. Because, like, the way you took out that flying enemy was you were locked onto it, and then you took out your arrows. Um, but it's like, if you had, uh, when you take out your arrows first, yeah, see? See? You got it. Now, now you're doing great. When you lock on first, you automatically target. You don't do this. Pull out your arrows, look at the ground, wait for it to get ahead of you. Alright, now go open that gate, and you're done. Aren't they coming for us, though? You got the second one. Oh. Yeah, you took out the second bird. Like, you did the worst. You did, you did, you finished it. <laughs> you learned the one technique, and you did it with no trouble. Somehow I'm not satisfied with that. <laughs> I fucking hate this part. <laughs> but it's like, literally, once you learned to lock on first, you had zero difficulty. That was a walk in the park for you. It's like an on, off, an on switch happened for you. I'm still not satisfied with it. <laughs> in, in my defense, I said it like from the very get-go. It's like, lock on. And you're like, I'm doing that. It, you obviously weren't, because there wasn't the arrow. You've said that before, too. Like, it, you're like, you only locks on when it shows the arrow. It's like, yeah. Well, yeah, but... To push back... Uh-huh. I don't necessarily believe that. Okay, so... Yes, obviously it didn't lock on because it didn't show the arrow. Uh -huh. Doesn't mean the button is responding to the lock on when I hit it. <laughs> yeah, and it could be as simple as you'd be really close for you to be on the lock on. And then it could be that just by happenstance, every time you try, you were too far away. I guess. Still not satisfied. <laughs> it doesn't make me hate the game, but it makes me <laughs> hate this portion of the yeah. game. Yeah. Well, there's going to be more of it, I think. Cool. But maybe this was the learning moment, you know. Maybe. That said, in your defense, the previous horseback thing didn't really challenge you to use arrows while doing it, so... You just got arrows, though, didn't you? Yeah, I just got them. Yeah, so that, that, I, I, I guess that's fair. This was your learning how to do arrows while on pushback, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, he's just verifying uh, memory is gone. <laughs> just give her some time. I'm certain Ilya will find her heart again. 
What is she, Regina from Once Upon a Time? So, Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. Hey, bitch, ain't you got a home? Right. You can go home. Like, all the kids are supposed to be back. They should be heading back to Kakarika the village. You know? Yeah, I don't think the ogres are going to be attacking again. Yeah, I guess, like, the idea is that... Maybe that's exactly what it is, is that the enemies are swarming Hyrule Field and there's no way to get past it. It's hard to believe. It's hard to take it seriously, though, right? Because like, these enemies are such throwaway enemies. Yeah. And they're so sparse when you're actually there that doesn't feel as threatening as the other characters are making it sound. Yeah. So she's talking about there being like a rebellion group to help fight against the evil. Didn't the evil just happen? Yeah, I mean, like, Hyrule Castle has been taken over, um, and that's why there's evil everywhere. Well, yeah, I get that, but, like, how many days are we talking? Like, yeah, it's been a couple I hear of you. weeks, right? I hear you. It's, it's very... Um, uh, unless time moves differently in this universe. Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying. There seems to be a plot hole, right? Because one day, uh, the character Russell in your hometown is like, hey, we're scheduled to drop off this delivery in Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, for this sword or whatever. We need to prep. Can you deliver this safely? Uh, Hyrule's counting on you. Uh, and then, like, the next day, you're turned into a wolf and you hear that, like, uh, a whole war happened and Hyrule Castle was taken over and now portions of the world are trapped in Twilight. Yeah. Uh, and now there's there's been a rebellion. <laughs> so it... And maybe it's not a plot hole. Maybe... I mean, it, like, it could be dealing with some time skip stuff. Like when yeah. you're Wolf Lake, you're probably out of this world for a little bit. Uh, and there might be some minor details that you have to interact with certain characters to really understand the time segments. Or maybe the Rebellion has been around for a while and it had a different purpose originally. I don't know. But maybe they were rebelling against Zelda. Maybe. Uh, but I agree. It, it feels very plot hole at the moment. Whether it actually is or not, it feels it. Yeah. Hello. I've come to present my movies again. Goodbye. <laughs> awesome, though. You did that thing. So that leaves it an episode. We'll follow uh, Queen Rutella next time on Trash Gamers. Make sure you click like and subscribe. We will see you next time in the trash pile. Bye. Bye.